We're gonna do a rockfish in the oven, roast it. It's so simple to do, so fast, and you're gonna love eating the whole fish. You're gonna see how much you actually get out of the whole fish and how you can discard all the bones even before you put it on the plate. First, you need to trim off, if you want, all the fins, if you like. That's optional. Secondly, you must scale the fish. You can use a scaler like this, or you can use the back of the knife like that. Now, you can do this outside or use the bag that you bought the fish in, put it into the bag like that, and then take your scaler and just go like this. All the scales will stay right in the bag. Wipe the scales right off like that. Very important to remove all the scales. There's nothing like eating the whole fish and having a scale in there. So take your time. Then take your knife, go in front of the anal fin and cut upwards up to the fins in front of the anal fin right here. Just cut that out, right to there. Don't go right through, you wanna hold all that meat together. Then cut around the gills on both sides, cut in front of the gills, and then take the gills like this and twist. Pull and twist at the same time like that, and then all the innards should come out right like this. Give it a good rinse, and then you end up with this beautiful fish right here that we already have cleaned. What I'm gonna to do to prepare it is you take a little bit of salt and you wanna be generous with the salt. You wanna be very generous because it's not gonna penetrate through. A little bit of white pepper all over the fish like that. And then a generous amount of oil all over the fish. It keeps the fish moist and sealed when it's roasting. If you wanna take some of the cuts that you have in the kitchen from your onions, your carrot, parsley stems. Grab all that and put it right into the, right in there for the aroma of the parsley, the aroma that comes out of the carrots, the celery. If the fish is very big, sometimes what you like to do is score the fish like this and put a couple of score marks on either side so that the fish cooks more thoroughly and right through. You place it into your pan with a few vegetables. I selected a little bit of potatoes, a little bit of patty pans, and a little bit of eggplant, a little bit of oil on those, so they roast also alongside. Into the oven we're gonna go at 375 for about 25 to 30 minutes, depending on the thickness of the fish. I'm gonna cover the fish with a little bit of foil for the first about 15 to 20 minutes to keep all the moisture in. And then at the last 10 minutes of its cooking, I'm gonna remove the foil so it crisps up a little bit. We got our snapper out of the oven, it's nice and firm. You put the knife through it and it should just go in very gentle by itself. There shouldn't be any resistance unless you hit a bone. We'll remove this fish from the roasting pan and place it onto a plate so that we can take out all the bones. Take a knife and cut where the fillet is, use your spatula like that and remove the one side of the fillet. Oh, that's nice and steamy and hot right out of the oven. And that's virtually boneless. Remove the skeleton out of the way and remove the back fin. And there's your other fillet right here. Season your vegetables with salt and pepper. Place your vegetables around the plate. And then we're gonna make a very simple marinade to drop on top. You can add a little bit of lemon juice, a little bit of oregano, a pinch of salt, and three parts of olive oil to the lemon juice. Put your finger over the top, shake it, and drizzle all that right over that, a little bit of parsley, and a few slices of lemon to enjoy the fish. This is roasted wild BC rockfish with summer vegetables.